What's up carnivores, Dan Delaney here. As you guys know, I'm on a mission to find the best street food I can find. And that mission brought me to Durham, North Carolina to Duke University. The campus is beautiful, lots of students and lots of them are hungry. Luckily, there's this new truck that's quickly becoming a local institution. We're gonna check it out today, only on Vendor TV. <laughs> All right, so at the East Quad of Duke University at Only Burger, the smells and the sounds are awesome. Let's check it out. The menu is as simple as you can make it. It's burgers and fries. Uh, I don't do anything fancy with the burger. I use 100% chuck, no blend, nothing fancy, no fancy ingredients. We just have it freshly ground every day, and then we hand patty it, and we put it on a nice hot grill. So nothing's frozen, and uh, I think that's the key to it. These are just juicy and everything tastes good and goes well together. They toast your buns, so it's pretty good. I like that. And how did you come up with the idea to open up a burger truck? It was actually my partner's idea. He's, uh, he's a big football fan and he saw the in and out trailer at one of the big football games one year and uh, said, man, that's a great idea. And uh, we were starting the business up at the beginning of a really bad recession and felt like we really wanted to do something that was very simple, very straightforward, and it's a sort of American comfort food. Um, we have started adding some special burgers to the menu. I do do a blue cheese burger special on occasion, where we do a bacon and blue with a red onion jam, and then I have my special signature burger I do on the Saturday mornings at the farmer's market, where we buy local farm fresh eggs. Um, in the summer, we do heirloom tomatoes, but uh, throughout the year, we also do fried green tomatoes. So we do a fried green tomato burger with a fried egg on top, um, and we get all of our product there uh, from the market. I sort of have my secret menu. It's, uh, it's when somebody says, hey, can you grill the onions? I say yes. Um, it's like anything we were talking about before with, a, with any decent restaurant. You know, I try to please our customers as much as we can. You know, I know that like some places don't put ketchup on their hamburgers or hot dogs. You know, really, you know, militant about it. You know, personally, my feeling is if you want it on your ha hamburger and I can put it on the hamburger, I want to put it on your hamburger for you. As far as I'm concerned, it's about the people that are eating the hamburger, not about my feelings. All right, so you want to show me how to make a burger? Love to. All right, so we're gonna make and try a burger right after this. So he's gonna make a breakfast burger. I haven't had breakfast. Beef for breakfast, what's better? Fried green tomatoes. So we've, uh, we've egg washed them and breaded them in a little bit of panko. And then my other secret ingredient on the breakfast burger is some homemade pimento cheese. Little southern staple. Little medium rare. And our fried green tomatoes on top of the egg, on top of that medium rare burger with some pimento cheese. And that is what I call our breakfast burger special. All right, carnivores, this is their breakfast burger. So I think this burger is pretty killer. Uh, it's actually one of the better burgers I've ever had. Um, of course, the burger is cooked really well, but for me, actually, one of the stars of the show is the pimento cheese. Something that we don't really get up north. It's really nice. It, it adds a, a velvety texture to the entire burger. And also has these uh, tangy bits from the peppers. And then there's the tomato. At first it almost felt like a fried pickle, but then you, gotta, you get the more meaty consistency of a tomato and the juiciness works really well. This is, this is really one of the better burgers I've ever had. All right. There's so much bacon on this, it can't be contained. It's like a pork protuberance. Are you ready for the bacon and blue? <laughs> Do you like how I added that sound effect? <laughs> All right, bacon and blue, mouth. You gotta sort of have to be a blue cheese fan. I am, because it does definitely have a little bit of the blue cheese funk to it, um, but it's really well balanced by this, this um, sweet onion jelly that they have. I'm a mess, what can I say? All right, so that is Only Burger. The burgers were outrageous and I'm stuffed, so is my crew. If you wanna learn more about them, visit them online at onlyburger.com. If you wanna learn more about us and all the cards we cover, visit us online at vendor.tv. And we're giving away some Only Burger t-shirts. If you wanna to enter to win, post a comment below letting me know what your favorite burger is. 
As always, I'm Dan Delaney, encouraging you guys to eat in the street. I'll see you next time. This is The Wandering Foodie, and my favorite... Oh, no, that was crappy. Okay, here, let's start over. My favorite is the chili dog... No. <laughs> my favorite hot dog is the chili half smoke from Ben's Chili Bowl in D.C. There you go. That one sounded good. <laughs> oh, cheeseburger's so good. So thank you. Thank you very much for the cheeseburger. Mm. Yeah. So delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm.